internet, it's Sweaty Hewlett. He's back again. Yay! Well, part of him. I didn't all make it by the looks of it. So before I get into this, let me just say that this is a burn and learn, and a burn and learn is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. Exercise is boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible, which is just not the same without hair. It doesn't even move. Look at it. It's weird. Um, so a little piece of life advice for you. Don't go into Magic Cusp for the cheap haircut. At the end of the day, have them say, well, we're just closing up, but um, okay. Um, this happens. I told, I, told, uh, I told my tech terrors this week that I was attacked by a lawnmower, and they wanted to know details because they, they thought I really had me. Um, I think, that they, you know what, and now I think about it, it's not that far off. You know, I, the idea of me maybe trying to roboticize, roboticize, roboticize a, uh, a lawnmower is probably not too far-fetched, so that's probably what they were thinking. Um, but they were very concerned. Uh, they're like, how did it cut your, you know, I was like, no, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, anyways, so uh, yes, tech terrors this week. Lovely sort of wrap-up session. I wanted to give the kids like an extra an extra go. I wanted to give me an extra go um, at pulling stuff apart. There was a few things that they hadn't had a chance to do, and they all wanted to take bits home, so I thought I'd let them do that. So um, so I got to do that, um, and I'm recruiting a few of them, maybe even all of them, to, uh, to come and help me out with the makerspace, um, which I haven't got yet. We haven't figured out yet, but, you know, we're trying. Oh, speaking of which... Uh, Stargate Command. I am in touch with Stargate Command. The lovely folks that I've spoken to, well, texted with um, over the last uh, little while. Um, incredibly uh, like-minded nerds, um, you know, Steam, STEM, all that kind of stuff. And uh, Steam, STEM, and Stargate. It's kind of fun. Um, and uh, so I will be speaking to them sort of officially next week uh, to run some ideas by them and see what's up. So please, this is your time. Chime in. Tell me. First off, I'm not on Stargate Command. I've never used it. So uh, for those of you who are using it or who are possibly interested in using it, let me know what you want to see other than a new Stargate series, which I would really like to see too, but I don't have that kind of power. Not yet. I will, maybe one day, but um, not yet. Um, so uh, let me know what you want to see. What sort of um, science stuff can I be tackling? Uh, uh, any other suggestions you've got, please let me know. You've been amazing with giving me name suggestions for the tech terrors, because I have to change the tech terrors, because unfortunately adults immediately think terrorism. Kids don't, bless them. Uh, they, they don't see that connection. They love being called terrors, but I'm gonna change it. Um, I'm actually wondering about tech bandits because we've got the garbage bandits here, which are our raccoons, and I thought we could have a little raccoon as our, as our logo and call ourselves the tech bandits, but um, uh, we'll see, see how that sticks. I'm throwing that out there, throwing it against the wall, like pasta to see if it, if it, if it sticks. Um, so please keep those suggestions coming. What do you want to see on Stargate Command involving moi, me, and, um, and, my, and my terror kids. Nope, I mean my tech bandits, or whatever they're called. My makerspace, I don't know what the term is. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, uh, to discussing some of that with, um, with, the, with the folks at uh, Stargate Command. Um, and uh, now the learn part of my burn and learn. Let me first tell you that I have finished Surveillance Capitalism and it was a, wow, it was a slog, but I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. Um, it's got me totally paranoid. Uh, uh, truly, we got we were given a an Amazon Echo. Um, our friends had switched to Google, and they said, "Here, have this." And I was like, "Yay!" And I brought it home, and and we had it on for like five minutes, and then my wife was like, "Can't do it." As soon as we mentioned Alexa, there was like you know it was chatter and was asking us stuff, and she was just like, "Nope, she was having none of it." So we got rid of it, and by got rid of it, I mean. I put it in the basement. So now, instead of talking to myself or you, I'm, I'm talking to Alexa, who's probably listening right now. Shh. Uh, anyway, so um, I'm thinking about maybe taking it apart to see what's in there. Maybe. Anyways, uh, so, uh, so that's a project for another day. Uh, so um, what was the point of this? Yes, Alexa, Surveillance Capitalism. Yes, finish the book, read it. It's great. Um, just really... Uh, I think it's important to understand this stuff going into the world the way it is right now, especially if you've got kids, because... Um, uh, there's a whole aspect to growing up and, 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 uh, and, and your uh, feeling of self-worth based on, on your peers and stuff that is sort of just magnified by the, by the internet and, and social media, and, uh, uh, as well as just the way the corp these corporations work on stuff. So, you know, that said, I know it's so funny, that said, I, I've got an Alexa in the basement now, and my favorite music service is YouTube Music. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I seem to be entirely, you know, wrapped up in their, in their, in their, uh, in their surveillance claws. Uh, but, um, at least I feel like I know a little bit more about it now. So the new book, the new book, I was told, no, don't go there. It is a dark and lonely place. 
uh, Assembler. I can't remember the name of the book. I will put it in the title, uh, in the uh, description. But um, it's uh, this is a book on the assembler or assembly language. I'm not sure how one says it. Um, it's, it's as I said to, as I said to my friend who said I need to get a better bucket list. Uh, I said on my list is is to learn how to how to program in assembler. An assembler being sort of the closest thing to the machine code that you can get as a human. Um, you know, I'm, maybe there are humans who can program in binary. I, I, I can't do it. This is the closest thing. I'm not sure I could do this either, frankly. Um, so my friend who's at, um, at EA um, and was responsible uh, when he was at um, uh, Naughty Dog for doing a, The Last of Us, amazing guy. Uh, he's a level designer, level, God, I can't remember what he has a better term for it now, it's level something. Um, and uh, anyway, so he said, no, no, you can't. You, why would you do this? No one uses it. It's, it's old. It's, 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 it's too complicated. It's just much better to spend your time learning the higher level languages. I'm sure he is right. But for some reason, years ago, I picked up a book and played with it for a bit, and it, and it, and it thwarted me. And I really I just I had to go back and try it again. It's so weird to get excited and not have my hair move. Anyways, um, so I picked this up. I've started working on it now, and I <laughs> spent most of my time on the torture device. Maybe the torture device is not a good place to be trying to, trying to read this stuff. But I spent most of my time sort of staring at his face, trying to figure out these damn Boolean expressions. Because I just got half, I would get halfway through and go, oh, no, I got it wrong somewhere in there. And I never got the same trues or falses that they did so uh, well I did sometimes but uh, so I'm gonna have to work through that that'll be that'll be me on the plane tonight plane tonight that's right I'm leaving I'm going to Newfoundland I'm going there isn't it grand Newfoundland yes I'm going to Newfoundland St. John's uh, heading there tonight um, I'm gonna be there for just under a week and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna go back again I've got a match wits with well let's just say a very credible detective and uh, I really miss my dog I'll just say that that's all and throw that out there um as always, I have no idea what I'm allowed to say or not allowed to say, but I'll be, so I'll probably, I may even see if I can YouTube from, uh, from, uh, from out there, because it'd be kind of fun to see what, uh, what, what things are like out there. I, I have not been there in probably 30 years, 20 years, 20 years, at least 20 years. Uh, Boys of St. Vincent, I think, was the last thing I did out there, and um, just loved it. Loved the people, loved the place, and I'm really kind of excited to go. I wish I could go with my family. That's always a drag, but I can't, so... I'm on my own, so, so there may be a lot of burn and learns while I'm there, depending on their on their on their torture device uh, selection. So, um, so yes, just to recap, please keep in touch about the Stargate Command stuff. I want to know what you want to see because that would really help me, especially going into this thing on uh, to chat with them next week. They're just lovely. I know they're very in tune with what you guys are are interested in, but uh, I'm I'm very eager to hear what you think I can bring to the mix here and whether this is something I should be doing. So, um, thank you. And uh, sweaty or not, until we geek again, cheerio, Newfoundland.